Hidden in this remote mine is a man of great power. He has blood on his hands that has soaked the Indian Ocean. He has a mystical totem on his body that makes humans bow down. But he works as an ordinary miner in a mine. But he was such a tough guy that he didn't realize that someone was molesting his teacher. He even stretched out his middle finger in front of him, trying to touch his teacher's sensitive spot. The man was instantly enraged, and the blood vessels in his body swelled up and were about to burst out. But he didn't want to expose his identity, so he could only hold on to a steel pipe, seeing that the man didn't dare to resist. That scum became more and more reckless. The scene was about to get out of control. Luckily, a police car came by and scared the scum away, but the police car saved their lives for a few more days. After the teacher left him, the man slowly let go of his hand. If he hadn't remembered his mother's advice to hide his identity, those scum would have become a puddle of blood, worried that his identity would be discovered. His mother had taken him to no less than 30 remote places over the years, and she asked him to come home at 6 o'clock every night, even if he was a few minutes late. His mother would sit in front of the house in panic, unable to breathe. She wasn't worried that something would happen to her son, but that he would lose control and turn this place into a hell on earth. Even if her son was holding a plastic knife for cutting cakes, the mother would be trembling with fear. She immediately ordered her son to give her the plastic knife, and then carefully took it. Until she received the knife, the mother was still in shock. Although there were no accidents this time, what she feared had finally happened. Because her mother didn't know that the female teacher she had taken in was being hunted by a powerful and mysterious organization. On that day, the mysterious organization issued a worldwide arrest warrant. The scum of the day were the eyes of the organization. After realizing that the girl was the target, they immediately set out for the mine. At the moment, the female teacher is being entrusted by her mother to bring him food. She still resents the man for not helping her that day. Unbeknownst to her, she was just about to leave when a thug grabbed her and took her picture. And immediately after confirming that there was no mistake, the thug forcefully dragged her away. To the girl's despair, the man, Ram, for once, just stared and didn't help. Despite her desperate pleas for help, Ram never took a step forward. When the girl's bodyguard saw this, he grabbed an iron bar and desperately chased after him. But he was too far away from the girl. The girl was about to be taken away. But suddenly he inexplicably stopped and threw away the iron bar in his hand. Because the key person to save the girl had already arrived. And that person was Ram's mother. But she didn't know what was happening. No one dared to come forward to help her. Even though she cried out desperately. And at the same time, the thug stopped dead in his tracks. Because he had forgotten to kill the man who had tried to meddle that day. And ordered his men to send Ram to heaven. Then two thugs pulled out two meter thick steel knives from behind their backs and were walking towards Ram step by step. Watching the thugs approaching, the mother's heart struggled within her. She had finally settled down. But now she was being forced to make a choice. At this moment, the leeches on Ram's body were running all over the place. But the power in his body was sealed and could not be activated properly. He was like an engine in disrepair. It was missing a part, and that part was his mother. Watching the thugs pass by with a big knife, the mother had no choice but to awaken the ancient beast once again.